Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back to my life of reselling. Uh, we got four items going out today. One of those items was a sale on Poshmark, which is <laughs> unbelievable for me. This, this makes the third item this year that we sold on Poshmark. So it's picking up a little bit, it seems like. Eight months later. <laughs> no, it's just seven. <laughs> We're also going to talk about today how people are being charged listing fees when they're not over their limit. So let's get right to it. Alright, the first item we're going to talk about is the sale that we got on Poshmark. It is a pair of shoes. They're called Madden New York City Women's Platforms Lug Heel Mary Jane Black. I sold them with no box, size 9. And I'll explain to you why I didn't know box. They do come in a box, but the box is badly damaged. So, we're going to send them in this box inside of another box. Um... And so I didn't want to mislead them thinking that they was getting a new box with the item. So I just sold them without the box. But these, but these are new. They still got the plastic, the tags on them. Very, very good looking shoe, I think. So I picked those up at a local auction house that I go to uh, maybe about two months ago. I picked five pair up for $10. So that's $2 on each one. These sold on Posh for $31 plus shipping. And so my earnings on those was $21.82. So that one pair has paid for all five pairs and plus profit on it. So any uh, more of them shoes I sell is nothing but pure profit from there on out. The next items are from eBay. The first one is this Odyssey O-Works Mallet Putter Cover. Um, I got this off of Mulligan's Golf Shop on District. You guys should go check that out if you're into golfing. Uh, he's got a lot of really nice stuff in there. He was held a live auction, and I picked this up for $2, I believe it was. And we sold this for $24.34 free shipping, which won't cost much at all. Throw this thing in a poly bag, send it off. It's probably less than $5 to send that off. All right. The next item is another car case. Uh, we've got one left. We had three of these. We bought these in a lot at a yard sale. Uh, this was sold for $21.70 plus shipping. So the next item sold this morning. This is a Guitar Hero Powerless Wireless Controller for Guitar Hero. Uh, this one is actually for the PS3, the PS4, the Xbox 360, the Xbox One. Uh, so it's a compatible with all of those and for some reason I'm not 100% sure I'm not 100% sure why but this one does not require a dongle I don't know how that works I have no clue but this particular model unit does not require the dongle uh, when you research them on eBay or research them anywhere else nobody is selling this with a dongle it even says in some of the descriptions that the dongle is not required but this is the fourth one I've sold of this particular model that, that they say doesn't require the dongle. And I've never had an issue. No one's never messaged me back and said, hey, I need a dongle or never asked for a return for anything. So I, I'm not sure how that works, but apparently it does. So my topic of the day is a question about why people are being charged. Uh, a 35 cent listing fee if they're not above their uh, 250 listing threshold or whatever threshold they had as far as listing items uh, I'm gonna read the question and uh, we'll go from there so it says every month I keep getting charged a relisting fee of 35 cents for an item I have never even had any lookers or watchers on how do I get in touch with the eBay to find out why they keep charging me for this relisting fee. New to this process and trying to figure out how it works. All right, the first thing I wanna do to answer this question is, is I wanna read an insert. It's called Good Till Canceled Listings that's in the eBay under the insertion fee 
area where you can find some of this information that I'm going to tell you. So if none of what I'm selling, telling you is going to make sense, all you got to do is go to the help section on eBay and type in insertion fees and you can read everything that it says there and, and it should be self-explanatory there. But if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and, and I'll help you the best I can. All right, so uh, good till canceled listings or fixed price listings that renew automatically once per calendar month. We charge an assertion fee and applicable optional listing upgrade fees when you list your item for the first time and each time it renews. These listings count towards your monthly zero insertion fee listings. Insertion fees and listing upgrade fee amounts are based on the terms and effect when the listing goes live and when it renews. So if you go over your free allocations, you're going to be charged at 35 cents. Say you get 250 listings listed this month uh, for free, and that's all you've listed. Well, let's say you sold 50 of those listings. All right. Well, next month, now you have when those listings renewed you're only using 200 of the 250 so you can list 50 more new listings without being charged if you go over those other 50 listings you're going to be charged an insertion fee so that's one way you can be charging now for those that have not gone over the allocated listing listings that you're allowed for free and you're still being charged at 35 cents there are several different parameters there that could cause this one is if it's an auction style listing and you're offering a buy it now or it's in a category that's not allowed to have an auction you will be charged an insertion fee all right number two if you're using extra uh, subcategories or bold prints in your listings or anything extra other than just the basic stuff that it allows you to use you're gonna be charged an insertion fee for that so those are the reasons that I could think of off the top of my head you would be charged for an insertion fee my recommendation would be go on to your desktop and then go to the help section of eBay and type in search and when it says search type in insertion fees and there's a whole big section on those uh, what I've explained here is mostly the common reasons that people aren't really understanding and thinking about. So I hope this was helpful to you. I hope it explains some things to those that are having this issue, especially you new sellers that are out there. I know being a new seller, some things can just be overwhelming and difficult because there's just so much there. Uh, please, guys, if you ever need any help, please drop it in the comments and I will answer it to the best of my ability. If I don't know the answer, I know other people in the community that do and I can direct you to them to uh, help you better than I can and we'll see you on the next one